Well, being mayor is not a full-time job, it is a full-time obligation. And I've shown the work ethic, knowledge, commitment, and relationships needed to continue to build on a record I am proud to compare and contrast to my opponent. I believe past behavior, past performance is a predictor of future results. This year, property taxes fell, water and sewer rates were lowered, we reduced the uh, general fund debt by $6 million, and the Moody's Investment Agency raised the city's credit rating. This year, I led the council on a successful hiring of a new city clerk and on the reorganization of parks and recreation. I've been actively involved in community events and most recently was named to the Governor's Regional Economic Development Council. What's most important is how that record shows my ability to tackle the issues ahead. Tops on my list are legacy properties. These are old buildings and brownfields in, that are blighted and in need of a new use. Heading that list is, of course, Mercy Healthcare, but also the Masonic Temple, seen right over there, the Woolworth Building, Sewell's Island, the uh, Van Dusey Street Warehouses, and the Ogilvy site. These sites have been identified and efforts are afoot to redevelop them. Those efforts rely on the working relationships I have fostered at the state level. A second challenge is to continue to build Watertown as a center for recreation, culture, education, and health care. Just as we have made the Black River a showcase and the fairgrounds a viable multi-event center, I am also supporting increased assistance to the Thompson Park Zoo to renovate the aviary into constructive use. I support the efforts of Jefferson Community College to expand through the construction of dormitories. And this year, at my urging, we increase funding for the Flower Memorial Library right next door so they can expand their hours. The city is also a partner with Samaritan Medical Center as it continues to thrive as our largest employer. Jobs are always a priority. We have a robust local economy, the envy of other upstate counties. I've served as president of the Watertown Local Development Corporation and now on the Governor's Council. Those roles will allow me to continue to work on development and jobs. I've also been a leader this year in a cross-border promotion with Kingston, Ontario, as that relationship is important as well. Our final major challenge is to manage the growth as that we are seeing. I will continue to work with Jefferson County and adjacent towns on making sure our infrastructure services that growth. The city will keep its fiscal house in order so that taxes will not be an impediment to growth. At age 56, I have the energy and knowledge and leadership skills to keep the council focused on the tasks at hand. And I have the relationships with others to make sure that we're not doing it alone. Elections are about records and the prospects for the future. I can deliver results. But elections are also about choices. And voters are gonna to have to do some comparison shopping in the coming weeks. First, my opponent, Jeff Smith, is on the city council in January if he loses. He has two years left on his term. Voters who like his views will see those views represented no matter what. However, a win for him brings a crucial change as he will be the one effectively naming his successor. Inquiring minds might want to ask who that person will be. Some judgments made by my opponent should give reason for pause. A decade ago, I am told he tried to hatch a plan to close the library as a budget-saving measure. The effort failed due to the efforts of Congress or of Councilwoman Burns, but it was a disturbing scenario. My opponent continues to make solar panels and other failed alternative energy plans his centerpiece for running. Those subsidized schemes are costing taxpayers in this nation money, and they are not affordable by average citizens. At his urging, the city spent $35,000 on a report to tell us about 70-year paybacks on geothermal. Despite that, my opponent continues to push for these risky and experimental technologies. And finally, last week my opponent ignored our tradition of nonpartisan city government by being introduced by the local Democratic chair at a labor endorsement meeting held in Governor. Our government in recent years has prospered as I have maintained independent but working relationships with members of the major parties at high level. Now just talking about leadership and vision is no substitute for experience and results. If my opponent is to offer leadership and vision, He's had the chance to do that during his 18 years in local office. In me, voters have a solid, dependable, experienced, proven leader, someone willing and able to be on duty for whenever the public calls. I'm running for this term to finish the work started and use my skills to the advantage of the people of Watertown. Sincerely ask for everyone's vote on November 8th.